we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag and this is Grounded. Today is Revenge Day. We're going over to fight the infected broodmother again, and this time I've got a plan. And that plan is a simple one. We're going to wear the Fire Ant armor set. The full thing upgraded to nine down the sleek path. We're also going to use the power droplet. We're going to have the Fire Ant shield. Over here, we've got uh, Beefy Fuzz on the rocks, the shield. Uh, I've got some bandages. Uh, Sticky Liquid Rage and the Black Ox Burger. And that's everything that we're going to need. Let's check out the mutations. Because we're using the power droplet, all these mutations that would normally apply to very specific weapons just apply to your fist now. That's what the power droplet does. Plus, we're able to hit twice with a single punch with the mastery bonus. So we'll be using Little Fist, Chopper, Smasher, Parry Master, and Corporate Kickback. And that's the class. So feel free to copy it if you're confident in this. Now, the thing about this class is your blocks have to be on point during this fight because what you're doing when you're punching an enemy is you're stacking damage against them. Stack, stack, stack. Every hit that you do will multiply and start stacking. Eventually, like you'll punch the boss and just chunks and chunks will start to melt off of it. But you have to get your punch meter up really, really high. Now in the past, it didn't matter if you got hit or not, uh, it would still store those punches. Now though, if you get hit, it breaks your combo, it resets it back to zero, which is why I say you have to be very confident with your blocks because you wanna get that number up to 160. That's right, you want your combo to be up to like 165 or something like that. I think that's where it like tops off at. It may go further, but I think that's as far as I've seen it go. But anyways, do that and phase three of this boss, you will absolutely destroy, which you are about to see me do. I will be doing this in medium. I've been practicing on mild, just to understand the boss's cadences and timing and stuff like that. And I got pretty comfortable on mild, so I switched over to medium, and now I'm comfortable on medium. Don't know if I'll ever do this in well mode, but uh, I want you guys to check this out. I've already recorded the boss fight. I will show it uninterrupted. This is with no commentary because I needed to concentrate, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna cut it at all anywhere. There's one moment where I pause it for about five seconds. I think to take a drink or scratch my nose or something, I can't remember. Uh, but check out the boss fight. I think you're gonna like it. And then I'll join you guys back after the boss fight.
That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. I barely used any heals, too. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 10, I guess. I, don't, I wasn't really counting. But uh, the one thing I hope you noticed is that my punch counter, the combo that was stacking and stacking and stacking, was up to probably 160-ish. And that melted the boss during phase three. So you pretty much need to go flawless uh, phase one and phase two to get that punch meter all the way up. And then phase three, if you're lucky and don't get hit because most players, there are some beasts out there, but most players are going to get hit in phase three. Uh, so during phase three, you got to get lucky at the start and lay a few punches in, do some really good blocks, lay a few more punches in. And then before you know it, I had the health bar down to what? A third? A third of health left? Maybe even just a quarter? I don't know. I was focusing on the spider too much, but uh, then after that, it was pretty much don't die. Please don't die. This is as good as you're going to do, lagging. And I did it. You could suck it, brood mommy. And I don't know if I mentioned this at the start of the video or not, but this was done in medium mode. But what I did do was practice in mild for a while. And then when I felt comfortable knowing all of the spider's movesets and everything like that, that's when I started bumping it up to medium. And if I do this enough times on medium, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to do this in well mode as well. I, I don't think so, though, but we'll see. We'll see. But check it out. Let's see what we get. I did beat her, like I said, in mild difficulty. So this is not my first time collecting parts, but I've only got one head at home. I've probably got two of these infected Venoms at home, and I probably have two chunks at home. So I don't have a lot of stuff, but we can at least go research it now, and let's see what we can get from the new stuff. Hey, Bags, guess what? Bags, Bags, guess what? Guess what? I beat the infected Broodmother with just my fist. Aren't you impressed? Stop walking away from me. I want to pet you. Hey, Bags. I want to see how many of the parts I do have from the other fight that I did on Miles. I'm pretty sure I just collected them once, but here is my my boss chest right here. So let's see what we've got. Yeah, I've got two of the chunks or the fangs, I guess. Uh, oh, okay, actually. So I got more one of the times I pulled it. That's nice. Yeah, same here. And then the same amount of these chunks. Okay, so I've got an okay stockpile, but from what I understand, you need a ton of stuff to make everything that you can make. So I'm gonna have to fight this beast several times. Now we're gonna head over to the research station and research these parts and see exactly what we just unlocked. Let's start with the infected venom. All right, we got a weapon, the blaster of the moldy matriarch. We also got the infected broodmother brazier and the infected broodmother throne. So those are the new furniture pieces that we get and a new weapon. 
Infected Chunk, Mask of the Moldy Matriarch, Infected Broodmother Mount, and the Stuff Infected Broodmother. You know I can't help myself. I just can't. I have to make the stuffed one first. It's what I've got to do. Or maybe the wall one first, because I'll do more damage to it. And the Infected Fang. Chest of the Moldy Matriarch and the Greaves of the Moldy Matriarch. We have got a new armor set, a new weapon, a new throne, some new brazier. If you have fought the Broodmother in the past, you'll look in your chest now and you'll see that you can research the Broodmother's Venom, I believe it was. And you've got an entire Broodmother set of armor, which I've already made and upgraded, so let's swap and check it out. Here's what it looks like equipped. It's a full set of Broodmother armor, finally. Now the whole set's medium armor and I upgraded it to Sleek Path, so we get plus poison coating, a chance to apply poison on all attacks, and that stacks up three times because I have three pieces of the armor on. Now if I'm not mistaken, the new bonus for having the full set of armor on is the Poison Nova. Now that used to be just on the mask, but now you have to have the full set on, I believe, to get Poison Nova. Of course, this uh, causes a puff of poison to come out every once in a while while you're doing melee attacks. And I believe the Venom Coating is the Sleek bonus, so if you go the Sleek path, you'll also have a chance to apply Venom on all attacks, and that also stacks the, uh, depending upon how many pieces of the armor on. I have all three on, so it's times three. Times three on Venom, times three on Poison, plus the Nova. And if you add a dagger to that, and you activate yourself Assassin, so now what you have is a Poison Venom Bleed build. As you know, the dagger does poison as well, so poison <laughs> times four, Venom times three, Poison Nova, plus the ability to proc a bleed against your enemies with the Assassin perk. So let's test this thing out real quick. Oh, this poor sweet little ant. Uh, you've had this coming a long time, if I'm being honest, though. Look at everything that just procked all at once. Good lord. You're gonna die. And then you're gonna die. Yep, there you go. There's like five things procked on them. We can just sit back and watch. And poof, like popcorn. Dead. So as you can see, very strong class. And the medium is nice as well, because you're not using as much stamina per swing. So that's good. They could have very easily made this set uh, heavy armor. But they didn't. And I like it. Oh, look at you. You're just a normal red ant. I won't bother you. Or will I? I did. I did. Goodbye. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. I want to see how big this infected brood mother is going to be. Okay, let's uh, let's put it down right here. I'm not going to build it today, and I'm not going to build any of the infected armor or weapons or braziers or thrones today because I have a special plan on what I want to do with the infected brood mother trophy, but uh, that's going to take some doing. Plus, I got to go back and kill that boss like four or five more times, probably, to get everything I need. Ho my god. Actually, it's about the same size. It's bigger. It's definitely bigger. Yeah, you're going to need a very special place all to your own because this is the apex predator on the map. By far the hardest boss in Grounded. Hands down, zero argument about it. This thing is an absolute beast. Here's the infected broodmother brazier. That's going to look awesome once we fill it in. Oh, oh the throne. Look at that. I am, after all, the Spore Lord now. Never mind the Parry Master. I am the Spore Lord, and the Spore Lord deserves a throne. That'll look great, too. Yeah, so that's about the same size, probably the exact same size as the Broodmother Trophy, so this will fit in here well. I will probably move like this. Why is there a Bombardier Beetle? And clearly a boss spot. All right, that is definitely a boss spot. That's a boss spot. That's why the, uh, I guess that's the Termite King there. Yeah, so this is where you'll go. You'll go in here somewhere. In fact, I'll probably move the Broodmother out of the way and put you there and then put the Broodmother here because I want this to be the first thing you see when you come in. Finally, what is this stuff going to cost? Four Infected Fangs, two Venoms, five Pond Moss, and this is the Mask of the Moldy Matriarch. It's medium armor and it gives you explosive stun. The chest of the Moldy Matriarch is Infected Fang, Infected Venom, Infected Chunks, and more Pond Moss. This also will give you explosive stun. And the Greaves take the Fangs, the Venom, and the Pond Moss, explosive stun, medium armor. You get it, you get it. Can't wait to see what the Sleek bonus is. And we'll learn more about explosive stun 
uh, once I build this stuff. Now, this thing is very cool. This is a tier three blaster of the moldy matriarch. Look at the damage, and that's at level zero. This can be upgraded, and what it is is a grenade. And this is an infinite grenade. You can throw it over and over and over, and obviously it'll explode and do a ton of explosive damage. Now, I think that's gonna pair really nicely with this armor set that it comes with because it's set explosive stun, so that probably goes hand in hand with it. But again, we'll learn more once I have the part. So on the next episode, fully expect us to be putting together all of the stuff that I just showed you because I'm gonna go back there and kill that thing an infinite amount of times. Oh yeah, I should mention that if you wanna fight it over and over the easiest way to do it because the uh the moldy hoagie is very expensive you need um i think you need let's see toenails you need uh broodmother parts you need uh mantis parts you need queen wasp parts but if you just make one and then go over to the dupe machine you can duplicate it for a thousand raw science so you can get a handful of them uh, a lot easier than going to fight the bosses over and over again. So just a heads up on that. Something you may have overlooked. And this is for a special project. Don't worry about those mushrooms. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button as always. It's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.